The last tab that I want to briefly mention is the chat tab, and you may or may not see this, and you may also see um, a WebEx tab. Um, I teach a lot of online classes, so I do online and on-campus office hours, and so the chat tab is there for us to do online office hours. Um, the newest version of the chat allows you to leave a message, and the message will be stored all semester, so be careful what you say. Don't say something in the, in the course uh, chat feed that you don't want someone else to read. But I really like that feature because if you have a question about, let's say, the Pathfinder tool, which we'll cover, um, and I answer it, and somebody else logs in at midnight on a Thursday and I'm not online to answer their question, they could read through and they could see that I've already answered the question about the Pathfinder that they were looking for um, as well. So keep that in mind, and you can always log in. You can always leave messages in the course chat if you want to, and, and whenever my next online office hour is, I'll log in and I'll answer it. But you can also log in during my office hours, and whether I have an on-campus or an online office hour, I will always log into those chats. The only catch is that if, um, if an office hour is designated as an on-campus office hour, priority goes to on-campus students. So if somebody shows up to my office and you're also chatting with me, um, I need to help the person who's in my office first, and then I'll help the person who's in the chat. That also applies in reverse, so uh, ignore that that says it's not connected. Um, it also works in reverse, so if I am around near campus during an online office hour, I will open my office door and I will be there for on-campus and online office hours. However, if somebody walks into my office and I'm in the middle of chatting with someone and helping them online, I'll let that student know that this is an online office hour, so priority is being given to the online student.